I am going to give you a little insight in how we install all of our club sport half cages. Today, we've got this beautiful Valencia Orange 1M. I'm gonna make some quick, short bullet point videos of the basics that you need to know to get one of our cages and seat panel kits inside the car. So let's go. To kick things off, I probably don't need to say this, but I will do anyway. You need to take the front seats out, the rear bench and the back part of the seats and then go ahead and take out the left and right boot trims and the boot floor trim. Very, very easy to get all of that stuff out. It's not tricky at all. You only need very basic tools. I would highly recommend getting yourself one of these little snap-on trim removal tools. It's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Next up, you're gonna to need to remove these plates. Your car will have these plates in there on all of the models we sell the cages for. We're going to be reusing these OEM bolts, but taking these plates out. They're Torx bolts, the lower one's larger than the top two. Don't know why that. Now we've removed all the interior trim and we've removed the rear plates. We need to start looking at mounting up for the hoop foot plates. Now on this 1M, we have this hole, this hole, and this hole. We're gonna utilize all three of those but we need some access underneath. The rear hole, we can simply reach round. This one, we already have a nice little neat hole in the chassis already. We can fit an M8 flange nut under there, supplied in the kit. But this end one's gonna be quite tricky. If you haven't had much practice, it's gonna be much easier for you to just add another hole in the face here using a trusty cone cutter and a hoover to grab all the swarf lovely access holes made now we are literally ready to start putting the half cage in now but there's one thing that i'd recommend doing beforehand and if you've purchased the seat panel closeout kit then i would now go ahead and install this rear bar and i'll show you where that goes and i'll tell you why we'd install it now it goes between these mounts that used to bolt the rear sections of the seats in and it goes in like so straight onto them mounts and that's purely because without the hoop or the rear section in it's definitely easier to work in those areas so we'll go ahead and put that in now that's taken care of and we haven't got to worry about it until later when we go and install the rest of the seat panel closeout kit okay we're ready to go the car's prepped the trim's out before I've actually fitted the cage, there is a step that I've missed out, and I can't share that with you guys, but I'll tell you what I've done. Before I fit the cage, I've taken some measurements from in here, where it's gonna land, and I've marked out my rear boot carpets already, and I'm gonna trim them to fit around the roll cage. There's some nifty tricks to that, but I can't tell you everything. This is the roll cage. Custom painted in Valencia Orange to match the car. It looks awesome. Curb gas, this is a T45, so it's incredibly light. Slightly dusty, it's been sat on the shelf for a little while. There's the rear section, but it is gonna look fantastic with that matching paint code. Disclaimer, you cannot opt custom paint colors on the website. If you want uh, body coded colors, you have to contact us directly. You can't do it at goslingracing.com. You've got to give me a call. I'll pick it up and I'll tell you, yes, you can. Okay, so the cage is in the car now. It's all buttoned up. I'll go ahead and have a look at that. So it's all in there, real nice. You can see hoop foot plates are here. We've got the carpet sitting in nice. I've gone ahead and put the boot carpets back in as well. They were trimmed out early, if you remember. It's all buttoned up. Couple of tips for this stage. You wanna put the rear section in the car first, then bring the hoop section in too. On the 1M, that wants to be done from the driver's door. That can vary between model to model. M2, you go in from the rear. Um, so you put that in, put all the foot plate bolts in, leave everything loose, wiggle it into position, get it all nice and snug. 
and then you can bolt everything down tight afterwards. They are only M8 on the hoop feet, so don't overdo that. But once that's in, and everything's bottled up tight, you can move on to the seat panel kit. And this is the seat panel kit. It comes with baseboards, a rear top section, and a rear lower section. You're also gonna have some little panel joiners. That's gonna join the top half to the bottom half. And there's also going to be some some uh, screw-on clips that go at the back edge here. So I'll go ahead and put them in and see what it looks like. So that's it. It's all in the car now. It's all screwed together and it's ready to put the front seats back in. Before I do that, let's take a look. So that's the boot carpets in with the seat panel kit. You can see the joiners at the top there where we've screwed the top and the lower panel together. If we look inside the car looking really nice inside there we've got the covering strip on the front we've got some joiners at the bottom there and basically when installing this seat panel kit you want to put the baseboards in first and then you want to put the rear boards in after screw the joiners together and then fit this covering strip last really simple there's nothing to it all you need is a screwdriver all the hardware for it is included in the kit but all we need to do now is put the seats back in and it's good to go back to our customer. Hopefully we've covered all the areas that you need to install your own Club Sport roll cage and seat panel kit. If there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions, drop a comment below. But I might spark that wildfire rebel when I preach fun house active. Yeah, king of the palace, rubber like Malcolm, balled up fist in the air to the flash lit. Yeah. Hands up, hands up in the air, they got me down I keep it on it, they crunching the numbers, I'm getting wild